This week on StarCap, World Boss wins Privy Council appeal. Proud bleacher whiter than white. Budget debate kicks off with lots of goodies. Mother nicknames abducted baby Miracle following her return. And in the Tell Me Pastor review, my wife wants to go on dates. Wagwan Star Fam, it's your friend Kenrick, and welcome back to StarCap, a recap of the big stories that caught your attention this week. Dancehall fans across the world erupted into jubilation on Thursday after the UK-based Privy Council announced it was quashing the murder conviction of dancehall star Vibes Cartel and his three co-accused. The Judicial Committee of the Privy Council has unanimously concluded that the appeals should be allowed and the appellant's convictions should be quashed on the ground of juror misconduct and that the case should be remitted to the Court of Appeal of Jamaica to decide whether to order a retrial of the appellants for the murder of Clive Williams. The convictions were thrown out on the basis of juror misconduct after a member of the jury tried to bribe other jurors. Despite his action, he remained on the panel that convicted the men. He was later convicted of attempting to pervert the course of justice. As a reminder, Cartel, whose given name is Adesia Palmer, was convicted for the murder of Clive Lizard Williams alongside Sean, Sean Storm Campbell, Kahira Jones and Andre St. John in 2014. Now that the convictions have been quashed, the Court of Appeal is to decide on whether to send the matter for retrial or let the world boss walk free. World boss. World boss. Speaking of the coloring book singer, another entertainer is making headlines for being whiter than Michael Cake Soap Jackson himself. Yeah, you know the whitest man in Jamaica, whiter than the white. You see it? Vibes Machine, we out here. Dwight Vibes Machine 12 Span Johnson, an up and coming artist, says he has been bleaching for 10 years after being introduced to the practice by a friend. You know, say, but they have a bridge in the name, Darren, and we see him do it, and I say, yo, when, when me and him are walking on the street, I always see people. Attracted to him. You see me? I mean, I say, yo, dog, this way you do mad, you know, dog. You know, I mean, I try it out. I since recently, I just got hard in it, like a year now. I just start to go hard because I sell bleaching cream and people from all over the world always are linked me. I said, I want my cream, so I start to sell it. And so I start to go hard for showcase it, for show the result of it. While there are some who are concerned about health issues, or his self-esteem, Johnson is saying he's actually better than ever. There are so many people who know bleach, even long before me, and they never have a complaint about skin cancer. I'm not saying it cannot happen, but I never see it. People also link it to low self-esteem issues. Do you think that's the case with you or other bleachers? No, I know it's just style. And a low self-esteem is just style, because I have a million tattoo and I mean, I entertainment fields, I want to tattoo them for sure, so I'm going to rub on something. The annual budget debate kicked off on Tuesday, and taxpayers seem to be in for a treat. Members, today we will listen to our Minister of Finance and the Public Service as he opens the budget debate. Please make the Minister welcome. Finance Minister Nigel Clark kicked off the debate in Parliament on Tuesday with a number of announcements for the new fiscal year starting in April. $120 million has been included in the budget to complete the rehabilitation of Jam World and Fort Rocky as fully functional 24-7 entertainment zones. Effective April 2024, Madam Speaker. I was waiting on the new Customs Act to be passed to do it as a part of that, Madam Speaker. But we're waiting on it to produce. Can't wait anymore. The people can't wait anymore. So effective April, Madam Speaker, the, the minimum value for imported goods will be increased from $50, 50 US dollars to 100 US dollars. This is expected to cost $864 million. Increased tax income threshold, duty-free threshold changes, unemployment insurance, funding for the 24-7 entertainment sectors, and more. The debate continues into next week and is expected to come with even more surprises. 
In a miraculous turn of events, an 11-day-old infant who was stolen from the Kingston Public Hospital on Monday was later found in the Dunkirk area of East Kingston, about six and a half hours after her adoption. It's reported that the child's mother, Christina Blake, was waiting to see a doctor when she was befriended by a woman. Sometime after the child's father, Kevin Robe, stepped away from his family, the woman returned to help the mother with her child. It was trouble shortly after. I returned to her, my mother and said, I'm going to get something for you to eat because I'm hungry. I never eat this man. I can't say I'm going to eat him. So she said, All right, Kevin, go and go get something and come back. She even mentioned I'm going to steal him. I said, I'm not going to steal him. Just a few minutes. Just like this. I'm going to steal him. So I went. Huh? Less than five minutes because it's just one party and one Pepsi. So that now I got the time. Give the lady the money and quick time, spin around and come back. When I came back, it's just she alone missing. After an alarm was raised, the police launched a manhunt and thankfully, Baby Miracle was found. The accused woman, identified as 40 year old Shoshana Greenfield, has since been charged. In Tell Me Passer this week, my wife wants to go on dates. No star fam, after 10 years of marriage, this writer has a serious question. Do you need to date your wife all the time? <laughs> me don't know about that. What do you mean you know about that? I said that's what I said, and you're not going to have fools <laughs> what they say. What you want me to say? It's a serious question. The writer goes on to explain that his wife wants to celebrate them for putting money down to purchase a new home, but he just wants to buy some chicken and beer and call it a day. His revelations have created tension in his household and he is unsure what to do. But no need to worry, Pastor is here to help. He told the writer that his wife wants to be wooed, swept off her feet and made to feel like a young girl again. Pastor went on to suggest that the writer heed to his wife's requests as it will work out in his favor in the long run. But what do you guys think? Is the writer's comments valid or should wifey settle herself? Comment your thoughts below. And that's it for this week's Star Cap. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The Jamaica Star and on X, formerly Twitter, at Jamaica Star. I'm Kenrick, and until next week, keep reading the Star, the people paper.